lifestyle and I am ready to unveil my big announcement. Um, many of you have asked me a lot of questions about how's the weight loss going and how's everything and after this video I am going to do another video on the update of the Hashimoto's and um, let you guys know how all that is going. But for now I wanted to tell you that I am pregnant and I am due in December. I am a little over three months, I believe. I have not been to the doctor yet. I only went to my general doctor um, a few months ago just to confirm the pregnancy and then um, there was a couple other things going on. So, uh, yes, <laughs> so there will be no weight loss videos until January. However, at least I know now that I am for sure done having kids and I can finally jump back on the weight loss. <laughs> um, my kids are out here now, but yeah, so a bit of a shocker, huge shocker. Um, a lot of people probably know why I kind of got into raw foods, and a lot of people probably don't, so I will be making a video about that, but this particular um, video I just want to kind of keep about, you know, the announcement of the pregnancy, but I do want to say that PCOS is kind of what brought me into raw foods. Um, I had a lot of cysts, I had a lot of issues, and I want to say that raw foods definitely healed the PCOS for me to get pregnant right after having, <laughs> you know, she's one, and I've only, you know, I'm not going to get too um, detailed, but I will say it's only been two times since I had her, and I want to be, I want to be the sister. It was very, we were very, very, very careful, and so I'm very, very shocked. I must be extremely fertile, or healthier than I think or whatever but as you guys know my youngest is seven and I struggled with a lot of PCOS a lot of cysts that ruptured and burst and just gross on my ovaries and you know I had a lot of issues there so seven and now my youngest is one you know and I was very active with you know a long-term partner and we never really were careful because you know we're monogamous so that just goes to show you I think that um, things have definitely changed in that in that area <laughs> as far as my fertility goes. Um, I was not expecting to have another child. I was not expecting to have my one-year-old, but um, you know, it is what it is. It'll be nice to have the two older ones, I suppose, and then the two younger ones. It'll give her a little buddy to play with. And uh, and it's, it's a good thing, you know. I'm definitely very shocked because I just graduated nursing school. By the way, I can do another video too, but I did pass my boards. I, am, I got my license on the fridge, so I am, a real nurse now, um, but yes, I. I um, I love my babies, so it'll be it'll be fun and interesting. And if you guys want to see anything, because the last time I was you know in nursing school and things were so busy for me, so I didn't really do a lot of like pregnancy videos. So if there's anything that you guys want to see from me, I am definitely high raw. Um, I do have some vegan cooked food. I have a lot of quinoa and steamed vegetables. Um, we're trying not to do the rice anymore just because quinoa is um, <laughs> so much um, healthier for you, you know. So we're just using up some rice that we have. We do a lot of hemp seeds. I'll try and do a lot of food videos. Um, I'm not sure. I definitely need to get a job. I'm also going to um, continue going to school. So this fall, my plans have not changed because of the pregnancy. I plan to take anatomy and physiology one, and then I'm not sure. I want to take number two because those are the only two classes I need um, before I can start RN classes. Because I definitely want to go on for my RN. Um, but at this point, I just need to kind of find a job and and figure out daycare because their dad, he. Um, He's not home a lot because he drives truck over the road, and um, so it's kind of difficult with child care and stuff like that. He was working here, third shift, and it kind of worked out, school and everything, but um, it's a lot harder now, so we'll definitely see what happens, but I'm not going to drag this out. I just want to tell you guys I'm pregnant. Sorry it took me so long to tell you, but there was a lot of family that didn't know, so we had to tell everybody first. Um, and I hope that you guys stick with me because I know a lot of you guys are here for the weight loss. Um, a lot of you guys are here because you like us and our family. and the raw foods we like to see all that and what's going on with us so either way stick around because next year and I know I said it about this year but next year is gonna be epic for me it is going to um, be amazing so I am open to video suggestions and I am sure you guys are all very surprised and I don't think they can see you you want to say hi you say hi oh, I can hi. still pick him up oh. I miss my daddy <laughs> Um, he said he wants a baby sister. So we do have a girl's name. Um, 
if it's a girl. We do not plan to find out the sex. Um, it'll be the first time and it's a little bit harder than I thought it was going to be. I thought, oh yeah, it's no problem. But now that I'm getting kind of close to, you know, where you can find out, I'm kind of like, hmm. But um, we have a name picked out, Hannah Rose. We kind of wanted to stay with the theme of Bible names and um, ending in A-H. So Hannah Rose is a really pretty name. Boy's name, I am just stuck. I am so stuck. So hopefully that means it's going to be a girl. I don't know though because she is... <laughs> A bundle of drama. She is an awesome little baby. She is a good baby, um, but she can be a really big brat <laughs> sometimes. So I don't know about two girls, but um, I better go and uh, tend to everything I have to do. But I just wanted to hurry up and make this video, tell you guys that I'm pregnant. And um, I truly do believe that raw foods had a huge part in healing PCOS. I have not had a cyst, a pain, or anything. I, you know, there was many times where I went to the hospital in so much pain that. Um, I couldn't even stand it and I told him I think I have a cyst you know because actually my sister has only one ovary she's younger than me and her other one is just diseased so I don't know if that's something that runs in our family or what have you but I have not had any signs and symptoms since I started the raw food thing end of 2010 so the next couple videos I think I'll do the CSA one and stuff and then I'll do the update on the Hashimoto's and that and and also like a whole backstory just to kind of like update everybody and say okay this is when I started YouTube and this is my journey and just kind of give you guys a quick synopsis of that. So I hope everybody's doing well. Take care and you guys will see me later.